Lovely. Thank you. See you in a bit. Nice ride in position. And you can do your not a sportist. So. Suspension feels a bit uh, softer. TFT looks nicer, it's uh, brighter. Wheels are still good. Yeah, I much prefer this riding position, it's lovely. Handling feels nicer at uh, slower speeds. Probably as a result of the riding position. Let's try the cruise, con cruise control. Why right? pull it on the uh, right hand side then? I can't reach it. <laughs> Obviously, something you have to get used to as an owner. Handling feels more neutral. This will be perfect for commuting. Nice, sir. What are you doing? Yeah, I prefer this in the bends. So far, so good. What a lovely machine. This feels so... <laughs> Brakes are a bit squidgy, so... Yeah, front brake is a... Bit squiddy. 
<laughs> Felt that bump in the road. How are you doing? So interesting, Lionel. So this bike's only got 135 miles on the uh, clock, so it's literally right here, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, in terms of riding position, this is, look, this is really comfortable. I'd like to have a screen, i just get some wind blast off. That elastic throttle again. <laughs> oh. So it feels like on this one you have to twist the throttle a bit more compared to the early belly. Still flies, but yeah, you have to twist it up a bit more. This would be a brilliant converting machine, absolutely 100%. But the screen in there. Uh, let's see where we're going. Let's go left. Okay, so in terms of um, roll position, slightly in forward, just try to get to uh, enough feel from the front end without uh, putting too much strain on my wrists. Knees, legs, absolutely fine, <laughs> not bent uh, over too much. Comfortable position. Seat is uh, firm but not uncomfortable. Okay, so far. Suspension. Uh, it's um, generally feels uh, softer than the um, the, the belly, obviously, but. Um, Still, um, you can feel jolting through big bumps. Maybe I'll sound. So coming to a stop. I mean, it's quite a tall bike again. Um, I'm five foot ten. I'm slightly on tiptoes here, but it is a bit of an adverse camber. Um, I'm going to see if I can adjust this a bit actually. Yeah, the plank is a bit spongy. Um, let's go, let's do Oh, on the arm! <laughs> Doesn't feel as potent as the Uri Belly. Still potent, but. Try brakes. Brakes are fine. They're just a bit spongy. Maybe just need a bit of bleeding. 
Um, I was a front brake, so rear brake's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Not, not great, but uh, not terrible. So front brakes again. Yeah, fun. Just a spongy. Okay, so mounting the uh, SS, oh, quite a tall bike, so I'm five foot ten, I can just about flat foot it, but it is quite tall, so that's one thing to be aware of. Let's go. Front brake on. Oh, kick stand down that one out. There we go, ready to go. Hold up, we have the reverse function as well, so cancel that. Okay. Here we go. Never get bored of that power delivery. I can't take these babies too madly because there's quite a bit of ground around, unfortunately. Oh, well, I could be having some fun here. I don't fancy picking the bike up. Yeah, quite closed. Oh! How many times have I said oh today? So I think this SS has to be on a par with the live wire, highly live wire as my favourite electric bike. That's alright actually with uh, a bit of rear, rear brake on there, someone come in. Probably can't hear me. Yeah, this has to be on a par with the live wire as my favourite electric bike! <laughs> now, I can't leave that too much, they're still pretty gravel! Sadly for me. I haven't found any decent bits down there yet. I think this uh, machine looks absolutely fantastic, especially in this black. Mirrors are good. I mean, plenty of elbow on show, but there's enough to see behind. It does make a distinctive noise, which would be great you know, to allow pedestrians to your presence. So far, I'm showing 89 miles range, 89% battery remaining. So, if one we went on a basis of uh, one mile per percent for, the, for how I've been riding this, I'd be happy with that. That would be fair enough. 
Yeah, I prefer to wear his hand with the hands actually. So reasonably grippy. I'm not what sure what it'll be like with uh, rain on them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the thing, people don't hear it getting, so you have to be aware of that on electric bike. Do a horn test. No, you need a swimming bit. I'll just put a Denali sound bomb on there. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I put a Denali sound bomb on there to make yourself uh, You definitely need a horn, I think. So I've been riding on a mixture of rides now. And yeah, I think this is definitely my favourite bike of the day. Seating position is the best. I prefer handling on this. Riding position. The um, It's still pretty fast, but it doesn't feel as fast, maybe. Oh no, I want to go. It doesn't make me feel as fast as the Rebelly, but I just swear. But that could just be me. I don't know. Maybe you get more of the sensation of speed when you rebel because of the uh, riding position. So we're at 30 now. Lovely at low speeds. Oh, here we go! Oh, this is a really comfortable body. And the wind glass is not too bad. I've got the screen on there. It, uh, the SS feels better balanced than the Rebelli, I'd say. I need to find some decent bins though. But but yeah, it, uh, handling wise, it's okay. It's been alright. Just sort of fall into bends a bit, so you have to muscle it a little bit, but... Ah. Tell me 
terms of throttle connection. One, two, three, go! <laughs> It just wants to lift the front. Okay, we'll have a walk around the Energica SS. What a great looking machine, especially in this black, silver and... I'm not sure what the blue bits, I don't them in black, but... That's a stunning machine. This handles sublimely. That throttle is so smooth. I mean, I've got it in sports, but to be honest, I want something I don't have to keep fettling with. Yeah, belt drive, you can just forget about it. So yeah, I'd have to fit a Scott oiler. I love this TFT screen. It looks so cool. It's not massive, but it doesn't need to be. Get it. It's been an amazing day. 
I tell you what I wouldn't think. One take, why can we have Keyless Ignition? Time to go back. Got him. I've had such an amazing day. <laughs> so, my final thoughts on the energy cup, Eva. SS9, it's not as extreme as the Rebelli, with higher bars and a comfier seat, which means it's a great all-rounder, perfect for commuting and weekend fun. Handling was more compliant too, didn't need messing around like the Rebelli. Felt particularly nice at slow speeds, it's a well-balanced machine. Throttle response is immaculate. Uh, frustratingly, the power's dialed back a bit compared to the Rebelli, so it's uh, not as neck snapping. But it's still quick. It's a proper relaxing ride at slower speeds. Build quality looks impeccable. Although I'd like to see it how it stands up to a British winter. Uh, range looks to be a little better than the Rebelli. I was thrashing it in sport mode at times and it appeared to be using about 1% per mile. So stick it in eco and ride carefully. Should do some pretty good distance. The whine from the engine isn't as... Uh, or motor isn't as intrusive uh, either. Um, so the golden question, would I buy one with my own money? Absolutely. I really enjoyed this one. Seems a great compromise between the uh, other two electric bikes on the road. It'd be a great commuter and a uh, fun weekend bike. It's it's a bike I'd buy on merit and uh, not because of what powers it. Financially, I could justify it as the same as in fuel and servicing would mean it would pay for itself over time. My uh, only real concern remains the uh, warranty, as on the Rubelli. Uh, so you get two years on the bike, and three years or f only 31,000 miles on the battery. Um, for such a premium, expensive bike, I would have hoped for a bit more than that. You know, I need a bike that would be capable of covering 90, 90 miles a day on one charge, Four days a week, in the depths of winter, with heated kit plugged in, and uh, covering approximately 14,000 miles a year. So what happens if I did 32k in two years and the battery failed? It would probably cost as much as the bike was worth for replacement. I do have concerns as the battery ages. Um, the range would probably diminish, and if it fell below the 90 miles I need, it would become useless for me. Uh, the other elephant in the room at the moment is the uh, Live Wire 1 that's due next year. Uh, potentially will be cheaper and uh, you know it's just looks just as well specced and uh, I really highly Live Wire and it's a great bike. I loved it. All in all though, great time testing these bikes thanks to uh, English Electric Motorcycle Company and there is definitely an electric motorcycle in my future at some point. Thanks for watching guys. Please uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.